Taurus. What up, dope? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general reading for the sign of Taurus, wherever that resonates at for you in your chart. Keep in mind, we all have a second house. Time and energy are fluid. Um, so take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. And these readings are timeless, family. So whenever you stumble across this message, there will be something here for you to help bring you clarity, confirmation, to help empower you, to help you align. <laughs> Tapping into my bull gang energy. I use this faceted garden oracle deck today to catch a vibe as I'm connecting with the energy. Um, sort of a very straight to the point uh, message here, energy. With this entropy card, something has come to an end. Um, we also have this entwined card that came out with the entropy card. And the feeling I got um, was that some, some relationship here had come to an end or is undergoing a transformation. Now, I got a few different messages here. For some of you, maybe you've actually lost somebody close to you or lost somebody that was uh, in some way important to your, your journey. Um, through physical death for others this was the ending of some type of relationship here we have watershed I'm seeing this as being um, emotional release tears shed through this um, or maybe just something that really made you sad Taurus um, this loss or this ending here and then we have the wreath card here representing the ending of a of a major soul cycle for you i see the wreath card being sort of similar to the world card where it's it's speaking of this cycle that has been complete the, the this door or these doors that have been closed and i'm seeing uh for some of you with this animal allies card maybe if this was a passed on loved one you're getting butterflies or cardinals or something animals coming to uh, see you to let you know you know I'm still with you um, for all of my bull gang whether you've lost somebody or not I do feel like you've went through some type of ending here and there are animals crossing your path right now letting you you know giving you signs and synchronicities like it's gonna be okay or this is a transformation whether you're seeing butterflies and dragonflies um, moths uh, snakes eagles hawks etc any type of animal that's crossing your path right now make sure you stay present and connect with that energy and and try to you know ask the divine what they're trying to say to you through this what i'm seeing though is i'm seeing you shifting into the sunshine i'm seeing you shifting into a new season here taurus and really breaking free with this terrarium card this is really about structures that we've been placed in family structures thought structures these programs it's almost like you're breaking free from some type of situation program structure um that you've outgrown it's almost like you've taken all that you've needed from this place or from this situation and you're ready to move on i'm literally seeing you taurus um like this golden light you're ready to you're bursting at the seams here ready to be free right ready to move into the next area i almost see this card as being like when you transplant um plants right if you keep a plant in a small pot for too long it's the roots stretch out they're going to end up hitting the sides of that pot and it's going to start um doing something called going root bound right the plant's going to get root bound the the roots are just going to start swirling around the pot um because they've got nowhere else to go and in time this can sort of choke the plant out where it's going to halt the growth the growth will stop so it feels like my bull gang is ready to be transplanted so to speak into a bigger pot into a new situation into a new energy on the bottom of the deck well both of these cards though we've got the anomaly card with this thorns card the thorns card is all about being able to see the beauty in the pain right every rose has its thorn um this situation that i went through for example was really hard to get through but it also taught me so much so we're sort of this is where we are taking and integrating 
uh, what we've learned and the lessons, the uh, the things, the the diamonds of wisdom, the pearls, right? We're we're gathering that, we're integrating that, and we're releasing any of the extra, so to speak. Okay, and it really feels like Taurus, you're about to be moving in a whole new direction. It really feels like you're sort of shifting gears here, and you're moving into a new world or a new life. Um, new energy right especially with that summer card very beautiful energy i might add that you're moving into so pay attention to the signs and synchronicities right now family um the universe got your back the universe is in constant communication with us at all times um and the universe works and speaks in mysterious ways so be open to that um let's jump into this tarot we're gonna say a quick prayer first and we will dive into it divine mother Father, Holy Spirit of the Most High God, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Ancestors of the Light, messages for my bull gang, for my Taurus family, for their highest good, anything they need to hear, anything they need to know, any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower my Taurus, um, any messages that will help them align to their best life to their highest timeline, to their highest self, to the will of the divine will be greatly appreciated. All praise and glory forever and ever. Sorry, y'all. I don't want to be hitting the microphone with my bill in my hat. Spirit. Holy Spirit, what is the message for Taurus today? What do we have going on here in the past energies? Please. Wow, you guys. Wow, 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 wow. Sheesh. Beautiful. On the bottom of the deck, we do have justice, and I'm being guided to put this in the theme of the reading. So this will be one of the uh, cards in the theme of your reading. Under that, we wow, I guess they want that as well. You guys, moon, star, oh my lord. So this is going to be a big message today, but justice, moon on the bottom of the deck. Uh, the balancing of an ending of a dark cycle, of a shadow cycle. For some of you, this could have something to do with a mother figure or a mother. Um, major balance coming in though right just like this summer card it's like you're moving from the darkness into the light from the sadness into happiness um and really breaking free from something here so i'm gonna finish pulling these cards and we will dive into the reading what is the current energy for bull gang spirit wow what is the incoming energy? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys. Sheesh, this is huge energy here today for my bull gang. A lot of majors out here. Can I get one more, please? Spirit? Thank you so much. What is the advice? Ah. sort of a deep message here today what's the rest of the theme there's a huge balancing act happening that's for sure okay 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 a lot of cards coming out here for okay bottom of the deck and and as i'm speaking of this balance we do have the two of wands on the bottom of the deck and what i'm seeing this two of wands as in your reading here is um almost like where my bull gang is shifting their attention from the past it's like you're in the middle of this shift from the past from the old into the new um I'm hearing letting go. Some of you are, are letting go of something. Sorry about that. I usually light this in the beginning. Guess I'm getting a little ahead of myself today. I'm a little excited for this Taurus reading. 
Um, so it feels like we're shifting, right? We're moving from focusing on whatever happened back here and we're focusing forward now. What's next type energy in the past energies? I'm seeing that uh, my Taurus were almost like maybe feeling stuck in a situation um, for probably quite some time. But what I'm actually seeing in the past energies, Taurus, is you able to, you're making the decision to leave that behind. Whatever this situation or relationship was for you, you had to leave some things behind in order to move toward your blessings. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Um, I feel like my bull gang has been working really hard to build something or working really hard to move into these blessings. And that's exactly what I see you doing. Um, like I said, this Eight of Cups gives the feeling of going through a, a sort of rough time and having to leave something behind so whether this was a relationship that you had to leave behind or you had lost a loved one or um a, you know a relationship came to an end a job came to an end this was not easy to walk away from um but what i'm seeing is i'm seeing a lot of things clicking for my bull gang where you're starting to see things uh from a new perspective you're seeing things in a new light bringing us to your current energy huh I see my bull gang pushing through, <laughs> continuing to stay strong, having the courage to really step into this new chapter. Um, but there is almost some some chaos, some conflict, some backlash maybe. Spirit wants you to know with this seven of wands that you do have the upper ground right now. Um, this is really about protecting your energy, making sure that your side of the street is cleaned as you're sort of going through this healing process and moving into this new chapter, right? The strength, the fool, it has not been easy, Taurus, but you're doing it. And this strength card really speaks to your alignment with your path of destiny and the perseverance and persistence that you have been um sort of stepping into as you go through this there is sort of a sadness coming through here you guys so with that watershed card that came out in the beginning um you do have the queen of cups in your current energy as well sitting with your feelings doing some meditation maybe going to sit by some water or getting out in nature and really sitting with the feelings of you know all that you've been through and letting them work through you in some capacity um i feel like will be very beneficial it's almost like i'm seeing this uh dark staticky energy within your energetic body and it needs to be cleared or released right and with the watershed card this can be as simple as having a good cry or yelling into a pillow or um working out hitting a punching bag um taking a run um, things where you are sort of moving that energy around, okay? Um, I am seeing a lot of healing coming through for my bull gang, though. And in the theme of your reading, we did start off with this justice card. So this major balance, energetic balance coming through for you, bull gang. And it really looks like you are moving into... Uh, winning season right you're moving into your abundance you're moving into this very healed and grounded um, abundant energy and there it's like there's an opportunity here for you right now and it's really almost like spirit is saying it's up to you to make the decision Taurus to take this opportunity to make that decision and to take action in a new direction right with the page of wands so that way we are not sitting in this uncomfortable position anymore so we're not sitting in this uncomfortable energy or in this energy of still being in the pain from the past or still being sort of stuck at this crossroads um whatever it is with the two of swords it's about being in a, a sort of uncomfortable position and really about making that decision, choosing a direction, choosing this way or that way. Um, and what I see incoming for you. So this is big. 
right? This is a huge timeline shift. This is a huge uh, karmic balance that's happening, moving you into, like I said, winning season. And that's what brings us to your incoming energy. We have the world in the star. So I see you shining, Taurus. I see you really um, grabbing the bull by the horns, no pun intended. I see a lot of deep soul level healing here. And you are able to fully close off this past cycle the world right and we did get that wreath card i said it was similar where we're wrapping up these cycles this is where you're fully aligning with this new cycle the world and the star taurus that's the message that the world is yours um really anything is possible right now and i do feel like there's big opportunities here for you to really shine for you to really break free um despite all of the chaos the conflict the turbulence that you're moving through right now um you're moving you're aligning the reason i pause like that is because with this anomaly card it's really about shifting directions and in your advice here I'm seeing some friends or family or people close to you, maybe even coworkers who might not have your best interest, right? I'm seeing this energy of betrayal, five of swords, five of pentacles, this energy of loneliness, this energy of feeling left out, singled out, this energy of, um, like I said, maybe some toxicity or maybe some type of, especially with the three of cups, five of swords, this could even be like a toxic family dynamic or a top, toxic friend group or co-workers or something like that. And with the, the, the message for you really is eight of wands, six of pentacles. It's about where you're putting your energy, um, Taurus. And I feel like you are shifting from putting your energy into this betrayal or into this shakeup or breakup um into putting your energy into you know your manifestations your happiness this very celebratory three of cups energy you're putting your energy into coming into union with your soul family and your soul mates you're putting your energy into this party right maybe some of you are literally planning a get together or a party or a trip or something like that and eight of wands six of pentacles it's really all about pulling your energy back from anything that's draining you, Taurus, anything that's creating sadness, stagnance, anger, any type of energy that's sort of sucking you dry is how I'm hearing it and shifting that focus, right? Like we said with the two of wands where we're focused on this, but we're in the midst of shifting and focusing this way. That's what your advice is as well. Spirit wants you to know five of pentacles that you are not alone right now spirits coming through your reading really heavily your angels your guides your ancestors the divine will say however you want to word that or however you are comfortable wording that spirit got your back right now your spirit team your spirit family is with you and they're like come on let's go there's an opportunity right here to really glow up to really step into our blessings right just like in the past energies nine of cups nine of pentacles this is you uh getting well-deserved blessings everything that you've been working so hard for and uh persevering for it's like it's right here there is an offer and an opportunity but what i'm seeing is just this sort of chaos this sadness this betrayal however it resonates for you trying to grab your attention taurus the devil is a lie the devil is a lie and justice empress you're moving into your blessings so beautiful energy here i do feel and see that you are maybe making some new connections as well. Like I said, coming into union with your soulmates and your soul family, maybe even a new spirit guide or new part of your soul team that is presenting themselves during this time to really help lead you forward toward these blessings, toward this, for some of you, toward this payout. However, uh, take it how it resonates. If it doesn't, that is fine as well. But I'm seeing 10 of cups on the split as I pull that pull the top pile off the cards there we're, we have ten of cups we have page of swords we have what is that two of pentacles so it's like you're learning uh what brings you peace you're learning what it is that you really want you're learning what it is that really makes you happy and you're definitely being guided toward that so let's grab a couple oracle cards before we tap out i've got this moonology deck 
got this shaman's dream and the Kali Oracle as usual. What do we have for my bull gang? Emotions are running high. The answers that you need are coming. Surrender to the divine. Full moon in Gemini is what we are going to read. This card is a reminder that it's important to speak your truth, but remember that your words have consequences and impact your listener. Right now, you need to guard against indiscretion. The answers you need may well come soon. The issue you're facing could well be one or a few conversations away from being resolved. If you're inquiring about a love situation, a little flirting may be called for. If you're in the middle of an argument, this card comes to you as a reminder of the old, very non-Gemini message. Um, least said soonest mended it's good to talk about but be careful you're not causing yourself any issues with your words words have an enormous power as metaphysician Florence Scovel Shin put it your word is your wand facts family um, you create magic and your own reality every time you express yourself the attune to the moon for this card says have an important conversation but stay calm Additional meanings for this card. Don't be superficial. Don't be fake, bull gang. We all know you. Y'all ain't fake. Um, additional meanings. Someone is trying to flirt with you. Have you noticed? Um, you need to laugh off this situation and just move on. And job applications have good prospects during this time. Surrender to the divine. Let's grab a card from the um, Shaman's Dream Oracle. Thank you, spirit. What's the message for my bull gang? The message for Taurus today, spirit. Perfect storm. That's the one that wants to be read as well. Number 44. So we do have a master number coming out for you. Taurus number 44 if that resonates maybe you're seeing 444 you're seeing fours ah, I would pass it when the perfect storm appears it causes you to be ready for an exciting if turbulent time the winds are picking up and you need to make sure that you're close to the eye of the storm or you will be buffeted by gusts that may take you far from where you need to be. The key is to remain centered and balanced and bear witness as the forces build in intensity. Notice how the loose stuff is starting to fly around and recognize how little of it you truly need. Let go of those thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes that clutter your heart and cloud your mind. Then the storm will be absolutely perfect for you. If you wonder what you might lose during the perfect storm, know that it's those things that we're most attached to that are taken first, as if life were trying to unburden us of our righteous self-importance. Let it all go with the wind. The less you resist the change brought by the perfect storm, the happier you will be. Ride the winds to your next destination. Embrace the rain or snow, and remember that every time you try to argue with nature, we lose. The perfect storm can also be a call for you to seize the moment. There might be a great opportunity that you need to take advantage of right now. Carpe diem. Here, time is of the essence. It may be gone shortly, so do not hesitate. Go ahead. Bite off more than you can chew and take the storm on in all its terrifying greatness. Experiencing the fullness of life. You will succeed. Here is that opportunity. Hey, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Page of Wands. This is truly about taking that opportunity, family, and moving into that Empress energy, putting yourself into this energy where you are able to receive all of these blessings that you got coming, Taurus. Um, building something here, an empire, a queendom, a kingdom. You're definitely moving into something that feels like destiny here. Let's grab a message or two from the Divine Mother. Oh, they must be playing with Fat Cat out there. <laughs> Divine Mother, what's the message for Bull Gang today, please? Beautiful. 
You are being offered a spiritual gift from the Divine Mother. Your path need not be one of endless exertion. Connecting with pleasure as a path of personal empowerment, intending to bring spiritual benefit to the collective through the softening and opening of your heart is an act of worshiping the Divine Feminine. Let yourself receive her loving gifts. Kali overcomes karma, realigns us to our with our path when we veered off course, reverses the momentum of negativity, and detaches draining energy cords, restoring us to full vitality. It may seem like your will is being thwarted or you're not getting what you want, but the goddess knows what she's doing. Her actions will benefit you. Trust. And the last message is this Artha of Kali card. It says, you are forging your authentic path. And in support of that, you shall attract great blessings that will benefit all beings. To live a spiritually and creatively self-directed life takes incredible strength and trust in yourself. Remember that the promise of your sacred success is being fulfilled through every challenge and every blessing. Trust in what you were born to accomplish. Bull gang, big message here today. Fool, strength, justice, star, world, sheesh. All these majors out here, family. This feels major. It does feel like you are uh, stepping into a whole new world, a clean slate. You're really aligning with uh, your next chapter, your path. Um, you're being replanted into a bigger pot, so to speak. You are breaking free, family. So that is what I have for you today. Before we tap out fully, we're going to take a deep cleansing breath, uh, using our will and visualization to draw in this divine cosmic energy. We're going to picture it as white or gold light filling up our energetic body. We're going to pause, hold the breath at the top, watch ourselves glowing brighter and brighter. And as we release, we are going to exhale like we're filling up a balloon, watching any negativity, any doubt, any anxiety, any anger, any sadness, any hatred, any blockages, any lower frequencies whatsoever. We're going to picture that all as black or gray smoke or static leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that into this guiding light and ascension and healing and love and all of those good things. So let's empty our lungs and get this breath in breathe in hold it squeeze mulabanda raise that energy up out your crown now lock it into your heart space watch yourself glowing brighter and brighter and release bull gang i love and appreciate y'all so much make sure you drop that star emoji down below in the comments to claim this beautiful alignment and healing family and i will catch y'all beautiful beings on the next reading have a blessed day y'all